welcome back to the channel you guys have been wanting a stick we are going to stick because we are talking about redirecting and i want to give you guys a few tips because fishing ain't fun when it comes to phlebotomy okay okay <laughs> What we're gonna do is a stick, but before we do that, I want you to go ahead and subscribe. For those of you who are here, you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna have a lot of fun. As you can see, or here, uh, yeah, we do sticks on this platform. We, we do sticks here on this channel, actually. This is a prepackaged pieces of the flip box. Yeah, pieces of the flip box. When you order the phlebotomy study guide this is what you could possibly get if you order the one that comes with the tubes and as you can see it comes nicely securely packaged you know you print it out because it's a pdf file and then in the mail you actually get this it comes in a biohazard bag so you have a biohazard bag to dispose of your supplies if you so choose to use the supplies but the reason I have this out is because I have played around with this needle so much I know it is contaminated and because I'm going to do a quick stick I don't want to use this one that one's for show but I'm going to use the one out of this bag to uh, show you guys the stick I'm actually going to use one of these tubes as well so what we're doing uh, is talking about fishing uh, redirecting because what you don't want to do is fish you don't want to get into the habit of once you get into a vein and start doing this this is a no-no when you get into a vein if you have to do that you're really not supposed to be in the vein you're supposed to come out of the vein so before I stick also go ahead and turn your notification bells on you all so that you don't miss any uploads and yeah just stay current with everything that we have going on so I'm gonna jump right into this stick. Let me grab my cotton ball. So what I'm gonna do is cleanse my site here. Ooh, look at that. You guys know y'all like that. Y'all you y'all know y'all like my veins. That's why you guys are always asking for sticks. Now, you guys saw what I just did. I was doing like this. No, that's a no-no. So let me calm down. And this is the way you, you want to cleanse your site. I still recommend with your alcohol prep, start in the middle and go outward. I know that the new thing now is to do the swipe. I, I don't understand the swipe uh, because you want to go inward and just clean out. Um, I still believe in that because dirt sits, oils sit, you know, everywhere. So why not just cleanse the whole site? That way you risk the chances of, you know, some over here, some over there, because this is just not enough for me. Uh, oh, your girl ain't that bad either. Okay. <laughs> so first things first, let's go ahead and attach our needle to our holder. Wait, is this the good one? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, this is the good one because this one is already attached. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Right? Make sure it's flush. When I say flush, I hope you guys know what I mean. I just I want you guys to know that, you know, nothing do not have any gaps here because that will cause the blood to come through and you're like where's this blood oh i'm sorry where's this blood coming through coming from and it's coming from between here so always make sure it's pretty secure don't don't go tightening it to try you know being hercules because you can break it so just enough you, you'll know what feels right so do that, make sure it's secure, and you're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is use this red top tube. Since red top tubes are waste for me, or waste period, I still gravitate to the red top tubes when I'm playing around. As you guys know, I always say, just plop your tube in there, in the holder, so that you're ready. Once you do that, and you know you have your sight ready, you know where you wanna stick, what you wanna do, go ahead and flip back your safety device and expose your needle and your needle is ready if the cap is up the safety device is up like this um you pretty much know that the bevel is up but i do recommend that you look i know people don't take the time to inspect their needles once i pull the needle out of a box and pull the cap out of it pull the cap off of it you guys i promise you it had a jagged edge this was many 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 years ago and i wished i had kept that needle doesn't happen 
at all. I don't believe, I think that was like one in a million, but it had a jagged edge. And I just happened to look at it, but that can really hurt someone. Just imagine going into a vein with a needle that's jagged and pulling, ooh, pulling out. Ah, sounds sounds hurt, hurtful, right? Painful. Okay, bevel is up. Needle is, needle is ready as well as this vein. Now I'm gonna puncture this vein and what I want you guys to look at is how easy and, and easy it is to actually redirect. So once you puncture the vein, voila, right here, and like so, I know I'm in this vein, right? Okay, but for whatever reason, now if I puncture my tube, I know I'm gonna get blood, but just for the sake of showing you guys this this hack when you don't get the blood what you want to do first is pull back slowly blood should flow into your tube if it does not to avoid having the patient look at you crazy and start saying uh -uh, don't start moving that around talk to your patient while you're talking to your patient you can gently move over to the left and or to the right without pain, without discomfort. Doesn't look like I'm moving at all, but I am. I'm, I'm pulling out and I'm moving the tip of the needle, of course. That way the, the patient's not even almost aware of what you're doing, and especially if you're keeping them preoccupied. So once I've gotten to that spot, and you can feel it, and of course you pump, you've you already punctured your tube because when you first got into the tube, um, got into the vein, you started to get your blood, you started to get a little, um, you didn't get anything, right? So we've already filled this tube up. I'll show you guys that another time. But that's what a redirect should look like. And yes, this is really weird me doing it by myself, but either one of those moves just to pull back and then slowly to the left and slowly to the right and you're going to be successful and then of course like i said always allow your tubes to fill up on their own and then voila i was telling someone to do this with the butterfly they were saying they didn't want the blood to splatter just place your gauze over the the needle the site before you remove the needle and you can take that needle out if you want to take it out or click it while it's in the vein. When you pull it out, you can click it once it's out and you are in good hands. And yes, this is just one of many ways to do a successful stick and not have to fish around when you've stuck the patient and you're trying to get their blood. So yes, perfect stick. Look at that, not like I stuck myself at all. Right, and I'm a, I'm, I, I clot pretty easily. So I've had doctors to tell me, well, you won't bleed out. Well, thanks, dude, I like that. Thumbs up, share, like, comment, you all. We can do this again if you wanna go live and do this. And uh, you know, I'm not as rushed and, and all of that. I feel like I rushed through that, but I really just wanted to show you guys the one, two, three moves and leave it alone. If you don't get it after that, I'm out of the vein. So thumbs up, share, like, comment. Let me know down below what you think. Have you tried it? Have you been successful? talk to me let me know and uh do that and i'll be back later tonight if not i'll see you guys of course tomorrow so y'all have a good one